Hey everybody, another year, Texas Sports Pack. This is Chef Adam Gonzalez, Chef Adam Adon Gonzalez from Castaways Restaurant, Port Aransas, Texas. Um, I have the pleasure of being here again, and um, this year they gave me the desserts one more time. I think they liked that bread pudding the other year. But anyway, I'm doing a real classic European dessert. It's a Sauvignon in French, and in Italian, it's a Zabanier. And in good old US of A, we call it egg custard. Today, we're doing a sweet custard dessert with champagne, or actually it's a Castel de San Paul. Uh, it's a, it's a uh, cava, Spanish cava. What you start, oh, I've got too much here. What you start with is a real soft, soft roll on your, on your water. And this is, a, this is an Aban Marie. So what we do is we start with a small roll you want to make sure your water is not hitting your pan. And the whole, the whole key here is to get the steam to heat your pan, to heat your eggs, to create your cream. Uh, anything more than that, you're going to end up with sweet scrambled eggs. So we start off with a, with a small roll on the bon marie, four egg, four egg yolks, and one quarter cup of sugar. And that is a whisk position. You constantly, constantly whisk. Once you incorporate, once you incorporate your eggs and your sugar, then you start building your, you start building your flavors. And let me start with adding a quarter cup of the cava, and you incorporate that into your egg yolk cream base. And it's it's all about the whisking. Uh, you want it to blend and become a cream, and that also prevents your scrambling or your hardening of, of the custard. At this point, I'm gonna pull it just a little bit. I can feel by my hand that the pan is getting too hot. And when you feel that happen, and it's okay to pull away for just a second, it doesn't hurt it at all. And I'm gonna go into my favorite, favorite all time, Mexican vanilla. It's just the base of everything for me for desserts. And you do about a half a teaspoon, which is this little cap right here, boom. You go ahead and whisk a little bit off. You can whisk off of the heat, and then you go back to your soft roll. Now, I'm gonna pull away, and I'm gonna show you another little technique that I do that really adds an incredible flavor, a true Madagascar vanilla bean. And then you do a split bean, and it's real simple. You just start a little split on your vanilla bean, and it's kind of a fillet technique. You just kind of pull it across like you're doing a skin fillet. And you brush your bean. It doesn't take a lot, and it'll really impact, it'll really impact the flavor. There we go. And that's about a half a bean's worth right there. You don't want to lose that, that's like gold and whisk it in. So you're gonna have your little black vanilla beans, just like vanilla bean ice cream. It's getting real close. You can see the thickness. You see how pretty that, that consistency has gotten. It's sticking a little bit to the side of the pan, which is what you wanna see. Now, here's the point right before you get into ribbons and folding we're not quite ribbon we're not quite at the ribbon stage but at this point i like to add just a tab of heavy heavy whipping cream it really doesn't change the flavor much it enriches it makes it a little buttery more buttery flavor but what that does is that stabilizes that cream so it holds its consistency and it really is a nice trick to do when you're making a custard and you don't need much you saw how much i put in there look like about two tablespoons and that's about it Look how it changed the consistency already. Really pretty. I wish you could get an up close to this and see how much vanilla bean this really has in it. This is gonna be, a, this is really a tasty, tasty, tasty sauce. You see how the ribbons are coming up on us? Here we go, okay, you see? You see, the, you see how it's holding onto the pan there? That's just about it. Now, there's two ways to serve this. I like it warm. A lot of people put it in the refrigerator and cool it off uh, because you serve it with a whipped cream. But this creamy, loose custard, I like it. 
right before the ribbon stage is where I really love to serve it because it goes over the cake just beautifully. You can coat the back of a spoon, it'll stay there. We go to this. Oh, that's pretty. We're there, let's serve it. We have our Sauvignon cream, vanilla champagne cream. This is an almond pound cake that's custom made for me at Central Market. It's a beautiful cake. It goes really well with this Sauvignon. We get some organic, all natural whipped cream. A mint for color. A little bit more Sauvignon on the cake. Blackberries. And some beautiful, beautiful pomegranate. Chef Adam's Sauvignon cream or Zavagnier in, in Italy with a almond pound cake, whipped cream, pomegranates, and blackberries.